Hello children, welcome to today's digital class. Today I am going to deal with English grammar topic prepositions. Children, you all know that there are many prepositions. But today in this video we are going to learn about only three prepositions that is by, on, in. By, on, in are the prepositions that you use for different means of transport. Let me ask you a question children. How do you all go to school? Yes, some of you walk to school, some of you go by bus, by bike, auto, bicycle, etc. For walking, you should say, I walk to school every day. He walks to school every day. He goes to school on foot every day. If your friend walks to school, you should say, My friend goes to school on foot every day. What is the preposition that you are using here, children? On. So, for walking, we make use of on foot. My friend goes to school on foot every day. I go to school on foot every day. Next one. General means of transport. For general means of transport, we make use of the preposition by. By bike. By ship. By plane. By boat. By train. By road. By rail. By air. By ship, by land, by bus, by car, by taxi, by boat, by bicycle, by car, by auto, by ambulance, by helicopter. These are the different means of transport. Before these means of transport, you can say by. I go to school by bike. I go to school by bus. Let us see some examples. We went to Bangalore by train. What is the different means of transport that is used here children? Train. So which preposition do you have to use? By. We went to Bangalore by train. You can say I went to Bangalore by train. My friend went to Bangalore by train. We travel to Andaman by ship. My friend travel to Andaman by ship. She can reach there fast by train. I can reach there fast by train. What is the preposition that is used here children? Yes, it is by. I will travel by train. My friend will travel by train. I will travel in trains. Here you see trains is plural. It is not singular. It is plural. Before plurals you cannot use by. You should use in. I will travel in trains. So what is the preposition that is used here children? Yes, it is in. I will travel in trains. You cannot say I will travel by trains. That is wrong. For plurals, use in. Specific means of transport. Before going to the specific means of transport, you should know about some determiners. Articles, demonstratives, possessives are the different determiners. You all know what are articles A and the. Demonstrative. This, that, these, those are demonstratives. Possessives. My, are, you are, his, her, their are possessives. Let us see some examples. He goes to school by bus. What is the means of transport here children? Bus. So, before that, you can use the preposition by. See another example. He goes to school on a bus. So, before the means of transport, did you find any determiner, children? 
Yes, there is an article A, A bus. So when there is an article or any data minor, you cannot use by. You should use either on or in. You cannot say he goes to school by a bus. That is wrong. You should say he goes to school on a bus. He goes to office by train. What is the means of transport here children? Train. So which preposition you can use? By. He goes to office on a train. So here there is a determiner. What is the determiner that is used here children? Article A is there. So you should use either on or in. I go to market by bicycle. What is the means of transport here? Bicycle. Is there any determiner here? No. So you can use by. I go to market on my bicycle. Can you find any determiner here? Yes, there is a possessive my. So you should use either on or in. If you find any determiner before the specific means of transport, we should use either on or in. On is used for bicycle, bus, train, ship, plane, bike. In is used for car, taxi, van, lorry, ambulance, auto. So you should remember these children. He goes to school on a bus. So there is, see the second example, he goes to school on a bus. So before bus, there is a determiner. So that's why you have to use on. I told you on is used for bus. See the first example. I go to market by bicycle. I go to market on my bicycle. Last example. I go to market on my bicycle. There is a determiner. So for bicycle, what you have to use when there is a determiner? I said that you have to use on for bicycle. Let us see some more examples. We went there by lorry. Is there any determiner, children? No determiner. So you can use by. We went there in Robert's lorry. Is there any determiner, children? Yes, Robert's. It is a possessive. When there is a determiner, you have to use either on or in. So it is a lorry. Which preposition do you have to use before that? In. We travel to America by plane. Here there is no determiner so you can directly use the preposition by. We travel to America on a plane. There is an article here. So for plane you should use on. I hope you all must have understood how and where to use the travel preposition. Now let us go to the assignment. Go through the assignment and do the assignment, children. Today's assignment. He was brought to hospital dash car. Is there any determiner here? No. When there is no determiner, which preposition you can use? Yes, you can use by. He was brought to hospital dash a car. Here, there is a Determiner here, a car. So what you have to use, you think and write down. She went to Pakistan, dash land. They go to Egypt, dash air. He traveled there, dash bike. He traveled there, dash his bike. We go to office, dash bus. We go to office, dash the bus. People like to travel, dash buses. Here buses is plural. So what you should use children? Think and write down. People like to travel dash the train. Children, if you have any problem doing the assignment, go back to the rules that I explained and try to complete.
Thank you, children. I hope you enjoyed the class. Stay home, stay safe.